Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I'm going to be reading the book Toronto 123 that was written and illustrated by me. It's of different places that we can visit Toronto and counting from 1 to 10. I'll also be adding some commentary on some of these places that I visited with some recommendations. 10 Bubbles from an Egg Waffle in Chinatown. So for those who don't know, an egg waffle is a famous Hong Kong waffle that's usually um, kind of eaten as a dessert. Some people have started to eat it with uh, things inside, but the traditional way is to kind of order just the waffle itself. And then it comes in these fun little bubbles that are nice and soft and sweet to eat. So I usually like to rip them off one by one and you can find them in Chinatown. Nine gelato flavors at Nani Gelato in Yorkville. So when I first discovered Nani Gelato, I actually went uh, two days in a row because I wanted to try all the flavors, but they rotate their flavors every two weeks and they usually have about eight flavors that are going. And um, they have some classic ones and some unique ones. So the pistachio one is probably one of the favorites, but uh, one that I had recently was called passion fruit mint and that one was also very delicious so I would highly recommend it. and also with Nani Gelato you can order one scoop and have two flavors in it. Eight tennis balls to practice with at Trinity Bellwoods Park. So there's lots of places to play tennis in the city. Trinity Bellwoods is one of them and it happens to have quite a few tennis courts as well so uh, usually you don't have to wait so long if you want to play there and then there's lots of food in the area or if you want to have a picnic after you're also there's space to do that. Seven umbrellas at Woodbine Beach. So this beach is probably one of the closest ones to the city and in uh, one part of the season there's actually an art show that kind of goes on between there's quite a few artists in the neighborhood there. And I can't remember what the name of the event is, but it's like art along the beach and you can go into uh, the artist's houses all along the beaches and view their artworks and then maybe spend the day at the beach as well. Six croissants of unique flavors at Big Code on Young. So on Young Street, there's uh, a Big Code. There's two locations, maybe there's one actually, but uh, you can buy a box of different flavors of croissants. They have the classic ones like the butter croissants and the almond ones and some unique ones. So there's a matcha one here that you see in the green. And then also strawberry and some Asian inspired ones like a yuzu flavored or Thai milk tea. And they actually have monthly flavors as well. So they have a classic um, roster that goes, but they usually have like two or three flavors that rotate every month, which is fun to try. Five paintings at the Art Gallery of Ontario. So the Art Gallery of Ontario is actually uh, walking distance from student family housing, I believe. And they have uh, free nights on Wednesday evenings, I believe, Wednesday and I think another day of the week. And then you can also go, a lot of uh, school trips like to go there. They have famous artworks by the Group of Seven, which is a Canadian group of artists. And they also have as uh, shows that happen. So right now there's one of Andy Warhol, but they usually have maybe three or four shows that go on throughout the year. So it's uh, fun to check out their website to see what's happening. Four fresh flower shops along the corner of Avenue and Davenport. So with these flower shops, there's actually lots of options. You're able to choose maybe a bouquet of the same flower. So you can make your own, you can choose a bunch of a little bouquets and create one or you can also just buy a bouquet of uh, arrangement made by the florists that are there they have a huge variety of the different types of flowers and it always smells so fresh three tacos from el catrin distilleria in the distillery historic district so el catrin is actually a mexican restaurant that has really good food there other tacos are their most popular dishes and they also make fresh guacamole so if you order guacamole and chips they'll make it right in front of you which is always fun to watch. Two coffees between friends at Deneen Coffee and Co. 
Panin Coffee Co. has two locations. There's one on Young that has a nice patio and it's well located for you to kind of be able to watch people go to work, come back, things like that. It's also a good halfway point if you're taking a day trip to maybe take a break. They have uh, the classic coffee flavors and they also have um, other fun things for children like hot chocolate. You can get a mocha. In the wintertime, they have a white chocolate mocha, which I would recommend. And then they also have a huge variety of teas as well that you could try. And finally, we have one sunset overlooking the Toronto skyline, Center Island. So in Center Island, you can rent tandem bikes and you can also rent um, another type of vehicle that I can't really remember the name of, but it's, it's kind of like a little car that you ride like a bike as well and ride it around Center Island. This is one of the really wonderful views where you're able to see the entire skyline of Toronto. And it's a specific view spot where they have a few benches. You could have a picnic there. Center Island's always a good day to spend, a good time to spend a full day at. And they have a Centerville, which is like a little amusement park that runs through the summer as well. So I hope you enjoyed that story and the commentary and you found uh, some fun things to do in Toronto.